mention of pulsars in the Quran. At the end of their life, stars transform into a different form depending on the mass of the star, as told in detail in Quran Miracles Black Holes. One of the forms that stars transform at their end is neutron stars. They created when large massive stars die in supernovas and their cores collapse with the protons and electrons melting into each other to form neutrons. Neutrino stars are heavy mass stars that keep on fusing heavy and heavy elements until they end up at iron. As told in part 18 you cannot get energy out of fusing iron. At this stage the star collapse and electron combine with the proton to make neutrons. If a neutron star were any denser, it would collapse and convert into a black hole and disappear. They are very dense, 1.4 to 3 solar masses in a radius of 10 kilometers. One spoonful of matter from a neutron star would weigh about a billion tons or more than the weight of many mountains on Earth. And if we drop that spoonful matter on Earth, it would pierce it and end up in its center. Just think about it, a spoonful of any matter on Earth hardly weighs more than a few grams. Neutron stars are considered to be the fastest spinning objects in the universe. Neutron stars sometimes become pulsars as because of gravitational pull and angular momentum, they start spinning so much so that they rotate as fast as 7 and 16 times per second. If you managed to stand on the equator of the fastest known pulsar, the rotational velocity would be about one-tenth the speed of light. That is almost 30,000 kilometers per second. They emit radiation light in beams. When first observed, they were thought as LGM, little green men, or aliens. Because they were emitting so fast and continuous sort of signal like some intelligent being was sending that. You can think of neutrino star as hearing rather than seeing beams of light as the beams are in radio wave spectrum. But you could hear it precisely as a beep or as a knocking or vibrating sound. Now look at what the Quran says almost 1400 years ago in Surah Tariq verses 1 to 3. By the sky and the nightcomer, and what can make you know what the nightcomer is, it is the piercing star. Early commentators of the Quran translated the word Tariq, either preserving it as a name without translation, taken as a name and left untranslated, or as morning star, bright star, or as nightcomer, while the literal meaning of Tariq is the one who knocks at the door. The meaning nightcomer derived from it because in past times in Arabia the one who comes at night usually knocks the door. As in the daytime doors remained opened or no need of informing your arrival or entry. It is taken as nightcomer or early morning comer or star because that makes sense for the past people. As they could not associate any sense and meaning of literal meaning of the word and this verse. But it contains all the meanings for the coming generations. That is for the previous human generations this verse was giving a sense as per their time. And for us again, the verse has the capacity that it gives new meaning as per our modern understanding of science. As I told you above that, when pulsars first discovered they were thought as some intelligent being of the universe sending signals on Earth. But later when matter becomes obvious, then they were given the name of pulsars. It seems that it is because of the pulsation and rhythmic beam of the star that scientists gave this name. 
The word pulse and pulsate means to beat or to beat rhythmically, to move or throb with a strong regular rhythm. What a miracle of Quran that it says in Surah Tariq that it is a knocking and piercing star. Now please listen to the two audio samples of the star's beam and signals and you will be surprised if it is a star or someone knocking at your door. The miracle of Quran has many folds as not only the star produced the sound of door knocking by a human, but also sounds of the latest inventions related to door knocking like doorbells and chimes. Now listen to the sounds of this star and look how it also resembles to modern bells when it's pulse at a higher rate. Now come back to verses 1-3 of Surah Tariq. It gives three characteristics of that celestial object, Tariq. First is that it pulsates and gives the impression of knocking, beating. Second is that it is a star. And lastly, that it penetrates and pierces. The word Thaqib means piercing, opening holes, piercing and moving on. Now for the past generation they consider the meaning as a bright star that pierces the darkness. But now look what new meanings it gives us with the modern scientific discoveries. You can think of it as made up of material so dense and heavy as I told you above that if we drop that spoonful matter on earth it would pierce it and end up in its center. But wait, there is more. As we know that pulsars are neutron star, which because of their dense mass distorts space-time. But if this distortion increases because of increased gravitational collapse, a point will be reached where that distortion would have grown so much that it could make a hole in space-time. Thus piercing the fabric of cosmos, the fabric of space-time.